Hello and welcome to a 2024 episode of Soul Chat. I am your host, Ebony Tatora, and this is the conversation where we go deeper than the surface. So this is a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Heart space, my heart chakra, okay? And it is navigating co parenting. And I know a lot of times, at least for me, right? We want to stay on brand, right? Um, but it is, you know, this has always been about our story. And my story has always and will forever be changing. Um, but it's, it's, it's a topic that I find is very popular. And what brought me here today specifically was uh, some of the conversations happening online between who we know as Offset and Cardi B. Um, when you look at the comments that they're sharing in between each other, right? Um, First of all, it represents toxic, right? The toxicity in our culture that, first of all, so many of us can relate to, right? That I don't, I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, I desire to work all of that out of my system, right? Because the higher we vibrate, the less shit can reach us, if you know what I'm saying. So with that being said, um, we do have to be the bigger person. We do have to heal and continue to, at least for me, and continue to honor this thing that triggers me, honor this thing where um, it can feel like no matter how you show up, you will vote, you're the villain, right? You are the villain, right? Um, even some of your best decisions can be villainized. And this is something that's so interesting. And I think something that kicked off for me at the beginning of this year, especially stepping away, um, from the previous relationship that I was in, which that's like a whole nother podcast, <laughs> okay? Like a developing story, you know what I mean? Um, really looking at the dynamic of the parent structure that I grew up in, right? Where like literally my mother and my father pretty much been fighting ever since they were birthing their children, right? And then reflecting on, you know, the relationship with my uh, the father of my four children, my first four children, and looking at it the same way, right? Like I've manifested literally the same thing. And when it comes to these situations, we can beat up ourselves, we can blame, shame, right? And because I focus so much on the inner child and healing, I'm going to go into a space of, okay, this is simply a cycle. This is a generational cycle on both sides, right? On, and a lot of our families where your father doesn't talk to your mother, they hate each other, that, 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 that's the storyline we've all inherited. And something hit me this year where I was like, I am not, I'm not living up to that storyline. So I made a call. I said my apologies, like deeply from the heart space. I am not a bullshitter, okay? I am not someone that's going to say some shit because I want something out of you. Not my MO, never been my MO, you know what I mean? That's not who I am as a person. Kindness is not a strategy. When I say something, it's because I really mean it and I know the power of my words. I know the power of my words and I know the power of healing. And sometimes we have a hard time just saying the thing, right? How do you say sorry to something that you halfway contributed to and where you can say there were a lot of injustices thrown your way, right? And it was a turning page for me, you know, and I still stand beside that theory, right? I still stand beside what can I do to be a bigger person, right? When you see this, you know, battle going back and forth, you know, I cannot help but address it because a lot of times what is happening, right? First of all, let's just think about how we all come to be, right? We are born into families. We are born into belief systems. We are born into things that we, patterns that we learn. We all go through some trauma in some sense, right? And then we become an age where we, you know, we're going to start, um, mingling with people and having kids. And for me, that was, I was 19. I mean, my frontal lobe wasn't even fully developed, honey. Right. So um, I'm, I'm making choices from a place of my trauma. So I even think being in that relationship, even as I started to kind of wake up because your frontal lobe, that's 25, right. 
you what you begin to wake up and you know for me it was like okay I, I gotta heal and work on some things and you know when you're in a relationship at least the type of person I am I'm gonna help us both work through it right how can we both work through it? what do we both need to do um and sometimes as women right we're holding both parties accountable opposed to that mature stance which each party is holding themselves accountable and then we come together be, to be accountable right so got to understand our stories right and how we get to these places um but that still doesn't excuse, right? And, or, you know, like make okay the situation, right? So honestly, this podcast is more of an open-ended question, a discussion. Like, I want to know what are you experiencing when it comes to this? How do you feel about it? I know when I see a lot of this stuff trending offset, like I only see these things. Like sometimes I'm like, damn, I'm going to have to start unfollowing folks because I don't want to know these things about celebrities. But I think the reason why this tripped off for me is because I feel like I'm experiencing something similar. I'm experiencing an experience that feels strenuous, you know, and it feels like damned if you do, damned if you don't, you know, and I know where that energy comes from. And I'm at a space where for me, for me, where I know that this is the, this is the time where I have to surrender it with every bone in my body because um, there are so many things, especially when it comes to other people that we cannot control. And the thing is, is if, if you've done your best, and this is the thing about life, and this is the last thing I'm gonna say, I, I didn't want this to be a long podcast. I wanted to get this out. I will be having guests starting next month and doing a lot of Instagram lives on Sunday. So it's gonna be so good. Y'all are gonna see me and it's gonna be purposeful. And we're gonna get back to these Sunday soul chats. Um, now I lost my train of thought, but it will come back. But the purpose of this is to continue to open the doors for discussions that are really affecting people, right? Discussions that um, cause us to be in a space where we have to navigate it and it doesn't feel easy, right? And if you've ever heard me say this before, I know when something is hard to me, that means I gotta go in my heart, right? Because anger might be holding me back, resentment might be holding me back um, from really seeing what's there, right? And that, that was the other thing I was gonna say. You know, we are here to live a purpose. We are here to live a purpose, each and every one of us. And when we don't show up in that form, you know, we are the puzzle piece missing in some place that it's needed, right? So when it, when it comes to topics like this, you know, I think for me, it's about navigating my purpose and continuing to move in my purpose. And I'm honored that I have a platform that I could talk to other people that I could share my story with and get it out. You know what I mean? There's something really special about getting it out and not holding it in and not feeling so alone or so like, oh, I'm this coach who does this and does that, you know, and I also have these situations. And a lot of times in these spaces, I think people who are out of alignment, and this is even something I had dealt with family in the past, right? Just anyone, you know, people, friends, whomever, like when people are out of alignment, the stories that they will tell you about yourself will always be spun into a way that creates a truth for them, right? It creates a truth for them that keeps them comfortable. How, how dare could they say you've always been kind? How dare could they say you've always been loving even through their shit, right? And that's hard for a lot of people. And I know that we are at a place on our planet where, you know, we really, the, the one thing we have to focus on is vibrating higher, right? And doing the opposite of what we want to do. And if we have moments where there's mistakes or we are triggered and we respond to give ourselves grace and to forgive ourselves, you know, and continue to take it to the higher powers. And I think that's the season that this is the season that it's in. And I share that post on Instagram. If you are following me on Instagram at Queens Dragon House Queens, please go like that post. I shared it yesterday, which I said, this is the era. Hold on, let me get it because I'm like, I'm going to forget. Hold on. <laughs> this is the era called do your thing and trust God. Because we, we have a purpose, right? If you could up-level your financial situation, if you can up-level, you know, your connections and your professional background, like we have other things to focus on because we are here to continue to get better and to not allow these things to get in our way. And if you've heard any of the previous episodes, I talked about how some of these things got in the way and they got in the way I thought about myself, the way I thought about the world, right? I and mean, people can call it what you want, but there is a spirit that comes to still kill and destroy, 
you know, and sometimes it works through people a lot of times. Right. Um, and that's just is what it is, which is why I'm at a space where God is calling me and my heart to deeply surrender it and to learn from the previous seasons and to stay in my center, to stay in my nucleus. Because how someone does something, what they say to me, how they express things, you know, we can allow that to get to us. We can allow that to get into our mind, you know, but the spirit of God and the spirit of God within us, you know, especially when you are someone who is committed to moving in love and light to the best of your fucking ability, because I know who I am today. Okay, Ebony is 36. I know who I was <laughs> 16 years ago I was a different woman at 20. Right. My, my level of response, my level of understanding, my level of love, my level of self-love, my level of conviction and truth and continuing to pull back the layers of myself so that if people judge me, I've already judged myself. I've already seen the parts of me where I need to work on and I work on them and I work on them. And those are my reminders for you. You know, but stay in your center, stay in your focus. Don't be staring. Don't if you're going to share this on social media about you know, this relationship that has nothing to do with you, make it a point to be, you know, spreading information to women, like to love yourself. Because then I seen a post of Cardi saying like, I've been cheating on you the whole time. With your homie, the homie that died. Like, sway. Right? This is why we need to mind our business and drink our water. Okay? Because we have a reality to create and co-create together. So with that being said, thank you so much for listening to this podcast episode. I've been saying it to y'all the whole time today and I love that for you. Thank you so much for those who have tuned in today. Definitely make sure you share this with a friend. That is your way of passing the goodness forward. That is your way of saying thank you, right? Sharing is caring. I really do believe in that. And I am in a space where I'm showing up. <laughs> like, I am showing up and we're going to have these discussions. So definitely make sure you're following me over on Instagram. That is where you will see me post the most, especially if you are interested in all things healing, mindfulness, meditation, inner child, realness, authenticity, duality, living life. And that's where I'm sharing all about the events and things that I have going on. You can always check out my stories every day. And if you love this episode, make sure you leave a review and rate it and share it on social media and tag me. I would so appreciate that. Love you all so much. I'll see you on the next episode. Also, I didn't say this already, but I did say this. Leave a comment. Leave a comment about if you're dealing with this, if you know people dealing with this, if you grew up dealing with this, how did it make you feel? How were you as a kid that had co-parents? who did not get along. How did that affect you? Let's talk about it so that we can awaken the awareness. Yeah. All right. Love y'all so much. I'll see you on the next episode.